If you don't start, you won't finish. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Now all three of those quotes basically provide a golden lesson that I try to live by and that I try to instill in everyone that I coach through Sideline Prep. I'll give you more details in a second. get into the topic for today's video I am obviously repping the Nationals gear so congratulations obviously to them World Series champions absolutely unbelievable but they are a true example of the quote you don't have to be great to start but you have to start to be great for those of you all that follow baseball you know that the Nationals had a pretty horrible start and now look at where they are so it's a true example of just thinking about and understanding the concepts of these videos, which is one thing that I wanted to make sure that I explained to you and there's a couple of reasons behind it. So the underlying message that I have for you is that if you don't start, you will never finish. If you don't try, you'll never know the outcome and you know for sure that you will never reach the desired outcome. And so I wanted to talk to you all about this for a couple of reasons. So number one, right now I am in the middle of Pro Cheer Playbook enrollment. We have taken applications. I've been on the phone with some amazing, amazing people. Partly I'm super excited because these are the type of people that I'm attracting um, along with my coaches. And it's just really exciting, the community that we're building together. So on these conversations, one, a couple of people have mentioned the fact that they were nervous to talk to me. <laughs> so I just wanna let everyone know that I'm super down to earth, or at least I feel like I am, and there's no reason to be nervous to talk to me. But kind of what stuck out even more than that was the fact that probably a half a dozen people mentioned that they weren't even going to apply for the program because they didn't think that they were qualified enough or they didn't think that they had enough dance experience or they didn't feel as though they were where they needed to be from a fitness level to apply. And I just want to remind you all that one, the Pro Cheer Playbook coaching program is just that, it's a coaching program. We don't expect you to come in at 100% with all 10s down um, the score sheet. We are here to help you and to coach you. But the other thing that I want to remind you is that if you don't apply, if you don't try, if you don't go, if you don't attend, if you don't stretch yourself, then you're definitely not going to get there and you already know the answer. So when I would hear this, I would say, well, I'm really glad that you pushed through those thoughts and you actually applied because you applied and now you're on the phone with me. Had you never applied, you would definitely not be on the phone with me and you would definitely not be a part of our Pro Cheer Playbook program. Example number two where this comes into play, going to dance classes. So a lot of times I talk to people and I'm like, well, the best way to pick up choreography is to get in a dance class and to be around other people trying to pick up choreography and doing that in a live environment, in a live setting. And the response that I receive is just that they're afraid to go to dance classes, they don't want to be embarrassed, they don't feel as though they can keep up with the class, so on and so forth. Again. You'll never know till you try. You'll never get better unless you go. But I also understand that whole idea or the frustration around feeling as though you're being left behind and you just can't keep up, which is one reason that we are launching um, the Pro Dance Academy. It's because I know how that feels. I know how it feels to be the person in the room that picks up the choreography the slowest. I get it. And so the Pro Dance Academy helps with that. It helps you learn technique and learn dances and kicks and all of these things that you need before auditions. It enables you to learn it in the comfort of your home, in the privacy of your home, so that you can improve those skills so that once you do go to dance classes, you feel even better. But you have to go. You have to try, you have to go. The number three area in which this kind of comes up is obviously actually going to auditions. 
So when I talk to people, and most recently on these Pro Chair Playbook um, Get to Know You strategy calls, I congratulate everyone that has attended an audition, even if they did not get the outcome that they expected or the outcome that they wanted. Because that in and of itself is a huge accomplishment because so many people decide the day of that they're not gonna even go to auditions. They wake up, all of a sudden there's all of this nervous energy, all of this doubt, all of these um, negative thoughts and feelings that are festering and taking control of their heads and then they just decide not to show up. Well, you could think of those nervous energies as excitement instead and push through and actually attend the audition. But when you don't attend the audition, you already know your answer. You're giving yourself a no. You're not even allowing the judges to say not this year. You're saying not this year, not right now. You're telling yourself no by not even trying. So I urge you and I encourage you to go, to try, to attend, to show up and give your 110%. And I guarantee that you're gonna walk away with something. Even if it's not the outcome that you want, you're gonna walk away uh, being a better version of yourself because you pushed through that fear and that doubt and you showed up. You're gonna walk away knowing the things that you need to work on. Because whatever you had trouble doing compared to others or those around you, you know that's an area that you need to improve. You're going to learn something, either about yourself or a, a new routine, a new dance technique, a new across the floor sequence, a new way to present yourself, maybe a new way to um, look based on what other ladies are wearing. You will learn something at every single prep class, workshop, audition, um, interview, anything that you go to. But if you don't go, then you're going to stay stationary. If you don't go, you will not move further. If you don't go, you will not reach your goals, you will not reach your dreams, you will stay status quo. And status quo is comfortable, but status quo is not excellence. Status quo does not get you to your dreams. Status quo does not make you a better person on the inside. Status quo does not allow you to show up as a better person on the outside. So why would you want to live in status quo every single day? If you don't start, you won't finish. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. And at the end of the day, you will be so proud of yourself, and I will be proud of you too. All right, I'm sorry, gonna get off of my soapbox at this point, but I hope that you understand what I'm trying to say to you. Just go for it, guys. Just do it. All right, that is it. <laughs> I am Janine Samuels for Sideline Prep. Don't even know if I said that at the beginning of the video. But if you can, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any suggestions for anyone that is just afraid to go for it, please post them below. Give us your thoughts, give us your ideas, and of course, connect with us on social media. We would love, love, love that connection and that share and everything else. All right, we are here for you always, and that's it. Make it a great day. Signing off for Sideline Prep and all of our Sideline Prep coaches. Talk to you later. Bye.